We need a rewrite. We need a rewrite. We need a rewrite. We need a rewrite. We 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 need a rewrite. Yeah. Hello everyone. I'm back here once again and with a new series. Yay. That's not good. Anyway, uh, if you're like me and you've been watching How I Met Your Mother since it, it first aired and you stuck with it throughout, you know what I'm going to be t talking about here. And that is the season finale of, no, the series finale, the finale of How I Met Your Mother. Now, to me, when it comes to shows like this and very... So the shows you want to know that all the characters are going to be all right after you that you leave uh, the series. You want to know that they go off and they get there happily ever after. And for the most part, we actually did got, kind of get that, but unfortunately, uh, a lot of people aren't happy with the finale of *How I Met Your Mother*. So I thought I would go and give you what I would have done for the finale. Now. The, there is not a lot I would change uh, from the last season. Now, I think introducing the mother and having her meet all the other people, is a, uh, all the other friends, and at the very end, meeting Ted. Well, yeah, I would uh, probably do that. Uh, there's just one little thing I would probably change. Now... I think having her previous boyfriend die kind of set up the ending for this, so I changed that and just had uh, changed that one little thing from that episode and have her just being left at the altar by this guy running away with uh, uh, some random person. Probably I uh, don't <laughs> having the groom run away and she never sees him again. And having a heartbreak. I think that's enough to have her in this funk for most of the time. And I think meeting that other guy and not really being in love with him, that kind of that kind of works too. So yeah, we go on from there. And okay, so for the finale itself, here we go. Uh Ted spots the mother, and, and that's a good way to start the episode. I, I was cheering at, at that point. I was like, yes. And I think the thing is, he wants to meet her before he has to leave, and he wants to see see if there's a spark there. He wants to know, is this a, a sign from the universe? I think we need to get back to that old, old, that old season one Ted. I think we need that. And, yeah, I... Uh, there's a few other th things here. Uh, the thing that add, that does strain the relationship b between Te uh, Barney and Robin is the the work job. I think that does help, but the thing is, sh she gives away uh, something to Lily that Barney never actually romances her. She, he just wants to jump her bones most of the time, and that does frustrate her. And one of the things that did want to make uh, make her think to go back to Ted was that he was the romantic. So uh, and they do get divorced three years after, but and he does have that one-off relationship with uh, thirty-one, and that's all we get to know her as. And Ted Ted says in the thing that he, oh I can't remember her name. And the other thing is too that. Yeah, the other thing is to, uh... God, where was I going? Yeah, they do, uh, do get together, and it's actually Barney that steals the blue French horn, and then shows up the <laughs> thing, or it, it's, uh, it, it's him, his way of showing her that he can be romantic, and I think that's a good idea for the finale, too. Uh, the mother does not die, she does get sick 
but she doesn't die. Um, and but we leave that ambiguous right until the very end. Oh, I was I, when I was watching that, I was like, oh, okay, she got sick. Maybe she didn't die. And yeah, that's good. Uh, there's not a lot I would ch uh, not, not a great deal more I would change from the episode. I think I've changed enough. Enough. I don't. I think <sighs> Lily and that uh, Lily and um. Marshall are pretty much alright. And yeah, that's... Uh, they did do a lot of things right. I think it's just Ted and the little bit of Barney and Robin that they uh, they messed up. Uh, there are a few other things. Uh, the final shot of the series and everything is... Uh, he goes... Ted goes, and that is how I met your mother. And... We do a shot of the other side of the room, uh, and the mother p picks her head around the corner and says, dinner's ready. And uh, dinner's ready is your dad finished telling that story. And then we, uh, then we end the show. And we so we know everyone's pretty much all right. Barney and Robin are back together, and the thing about it is they stay unmarried. I think that's that's a good uh, good idea. They 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 want their freedom. They both want their freedom, but they they still want to be together. I think that's that's a good way to end it. And you and you know everyone's going to be all right. So let me know what you think uh, of my version of the How I Met Your Mother finale. Uh, I think. Having everyone be all right at the end is, is is the perfect way to end it. You got your drama in there and everything. So, let me know what you think. Uh, leave leave your comments below, um, and let me know if there's any other things you would like me to rewrite. Uh, I've put something else on the list. Uh, uh, Star Trek Five. I put that on the list. That needs a major rewrite. Uh, I'm going to see if Alex would like to join me for that one. I. Uh, but yeah, leave your comments below for other things, like maybe you want me to rewrite the Matrix sequels, maybe you want me to make Twilight awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, see ya.